Grace to you and peace from God who is, who was, and who is to come. Amen. It's Christmas morning. It's finally here. It's the, it's the time to uh, exchange gifts to see what we've received and maybe compare it to what we asked for. Uh, maybe watch with uh, maybe just a little bit of apprehension as to see if the gift that we gave is as appreciated as we hoped it will be. Uh, you know, the ultimate gift giving, of course, is that well-known song, The Twelve Days of Christmas. You're familiar with that tune, I assume. Did you know that there is a company that each year will calculate the financial cost of giving all of those gifts? Not only how much per item, but then we'll also uh, tell you the uh, the cost if you want to be so generous of the entire uh, the, the entire kit and caboodle, so to speak. So, partridge in a pear tree, this year, one partridge in a pear tree will run you $222. Two turtle doves, that'll set you back $450. Three French hens and four calling birds combined, that's just over $850. The cost for human labor varies, of course, depending upon, actually depending upon gender. Eight maids of milking and nine ladies dancing will, will cost you $7,610. However, the eight maids of milking are an absolute bargain because they only cost you $58 thanks to the fact that the federal minimum wage has not increased since 2009. Um, now compare that to the 10 Lords Leaping, which is $11,260, which is still not the most expensive item on this list. Uh, gender neutral, or perhaps I should say gender ambiguous, we have the pipers piping and the drummers drumming, and, and I say that it can be ambiguous because back Decades ago, when I was in grade school, uh, the flautists all tended to be girls and the percussionists were boys. But since my wife is, was, or was a percussionist in high school, um, I know that musical instruments can be played by anyone. Pipers and drummers together, $6,127. Now, you might be thinking that the precious metals would be the most expensive item on the gift. As it turns out, however, five golden rings cost only $895, which is slightly more than the six geese laying, which is $660. No, the one item that is going to set you back the most are those pesky swans. Seven swans a-swimming are going to run you 13 big ones, $13,125. Now, if you wanna go whole hog on your loved one and do all 12 days, uh, adding to each day as the song suggests, so get ready to lay out enough for a small starter home. That'll run you $179,455. Wow, well, <laughs> this little bit of silliness has hopefully brought a smile to you amidst all of the hustle and bustle on this Christmas morn. Um, but I brought it up because so many of us do stress out about gift giving. And more than a few of us, I am sure, have been known to spend more than they could afford on gifts. And while it is very nice to give and definitely to receive, um, that's not really what this day is about. This day, this Christmas day, this is the day that we celebrate that most precious of gifts, the Christ child. This is the day that we're called to think on the fact that God, this, this unfathomable being, this one which is beyond all human comprehension, the very definition of omniscience and omnipresence, this God chose to become one of us, one of, one of these limited, finite, frail bags of bone and muscle and blood. God, who, who thought up the universe, who created all that exists in, in a nanosecond, contained God's own self into the restricting confines of a human body. 
And God did this miraculous thing in an attempt to get us humans to comprehend the vastness of God's love for us. And we, in turn, in celebration of this mind-boggling event, often spend more time wondering if the gift we're giving will be well-liked or appreciated or worth the same approximate value as the gift that we are giving to them rather than musing even, even for a moment on how and why God would ever do such a thing for us. So today, my friends, I want to ask you one small favor. Take a moment, just a short amount of time will do. Take a moment and consider the word incarnate, God made flesh. The Christ child laid in a manger, the best gift ever given. A blessed Christmas day be to you all. Take care. Amen.